Yo, it's your bro, Yo Elliot here, back with a new video series. Today is the first of a five video series titled Five Day Fasting Challenge. So those of you guys who've been following my videos for the past several years, but more specifically, since the beginning of this year, you know that I've been doing some prolonged fasting. And uh, my goal was to fast down to the fucking bone, and I did that. Typically walk around at about 2.15. Earlier this year, I, I started uh, some prolonged fasting. That means not eating for several days in a row, and I built up to a 10-day fast right before my birthday on April 10th. And uh, I got down to 168 pounds at that point, so I had lost in total almost 50 pounds, if my math is correct. And, uh, and it, I began those fasting stints, that prolonged fasting, because I've been trying to heal some autoimmune skin inflammation stuff that I had going on. And also, because it was my 40th birthday, I wanted to have a total fucking rebirth and strip myself down to the bone to, to damn near nothing. I was willing to lose muscle. In fact, the way I was going about the training was to lose muscle, was to lose fast, was to lose the ego, was to lose myself through fasting. And it has been tremendous, it was great. Now what you ought to know is that since April 10th, about two months ago, uh, I had stopped doing the prolonged fasting. I've been doing some uh, 18.6s, some OMADs, some NOMADs, and some UMADs. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll tell you more about that in this video series. Basically, I've been eating again and I put on about 40 fucking pounds, believe it! When you fast down to the bone, you can grow back as quickly as you got down there, at least I did. So, it uh, doesn't mean that it's all muscle that came back. What you ought to know is over the past two months, I have been traveling quite a bit. Colleen and I were in California uh, last month, and then this month, I just, we just got back from uh, upstate New York where I did a grounding camp, and then we spent a week in Maine, and, uh, and I've been eating. I've been eating basically, been eating a lot of the things I don't normally eat, like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and ice cream and shit like that, right? So I gave myself that space to see how much weight I could put on, and I think that's, in, that's significant. It's important for you to know that part of the reason why I wanted to put that weight back on is because I'm going to be competing in the Strength Camp Challenge in uh, August. So I wanted to put on some weight before I embarked on this five-day fasting challenge because I don't want to get down too low. I'll be competing at 200 pounds. Uh, last night when I got home, I was about 208. So, you know, exactly, literally about 40 pounds. 140, uh, 168, and then last night, 208. So 40 pounds, 40 pounds, 40 pounds I put on. And I'm getting ready to fast, uh, this time just to detox from a lot of the junk food and lifestyle mishaps, I don't want to say mishaps, but choices, conscious choices uh, I made over the past two months. Uh, so I want to detox from that. And I also uh, have been getting so many emails and messages from you guys who are interested in beginning prolonged fasting. So I figured, what a great opportunity for me to, uh, to detox and reset myself after uh, two months of traveling. And also use this as an opportunity for you to follow along with me and get the ball rolling for prolonged fasting in your own life. Now, if you've watched this far, you're, you're probably interested in prolonged fasting. You just don't know how to go about it or you need some courage, uh, encouragement, and maybe some support, and that's great. Uh, if you're watching this far and you're wondering why the hell would anybody want to fast for 10 days, five days, two days, or five days like we're going to be doing, uh, I would invite you to take a look at a, some of the previous videos I've made, but specifically on my Elliot Hulse channel watch uh, the video that uh, I did. It was, a, it was an interview with Cole Robinson, the snake diet wizard. Uh, and uh, the, the whole video is about prolonged fasting. I'm going to give you, I give you all of my experience and all of my knowledge and many of my resources in terms of prolonged fasting. And then uh, for, the, for the remainder of the video, I'm interviewing and speaking with prolonged fasting expert Cole Robinson. And uh, so all the information that you would need to know about why you would want to fast the benefits of fasting, uh, which are myriad, you can go to that video. I'll put a link down below uh, so that you can click that, watch that video, get up to speed on fasting and why you want to do it. So let's begin. Let's begin with number one, 
what this five day fasting challenge really is all about. It is a bridge to prolonged fasting. So we're not actually going to be fasting for five days, meaning you're not going to not eat for five days, but you're going to use the next five days. You know, and when I say next five days, it means once I come to the end of this series, which will be in the next few days, uh, you'll be prepared to start on a Monday. And if you're watching this video series uh, months or years after I created it, you can watch video one through five, and then what you'll be prepared to begin on a Monday. Right? That's what I think actually would be the best idea for you. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday um, is, a, is, the, is the, the set of days that we're going to be practicing this bridge to prolonged fasting. Uh, whether or not you actually get into prolonged fasting, meaning uh, literally not eating, fasting uh, for three, five, 10, 20, 20 days, you know, or longer, 21 days, 40 days, whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, this is also beneficial in and of itself. So you may not want to get into prolonged fasting, but every once in a while you might want to uh, really reset your metabolism, reset your hormones, uh, get into autophagy. So a lot of cleansing, detox, uh, tremendous benefits, mental, physical, metaphysical, emotional, all the benefits of fasting you can do with just this little five day fasting protocol. So I think it's a pretty cool. You could use it as standalone or you could use it as a, as a bridge to prolong fasting, like I said before. And, um, and the way I'm setting this up, this series up is so that you would be encouraged, motivated, and inspired to take it a little bit further. So uh, the purpose of this video is just to kind of set you up with what's to come. And a part of that means that, they, that uh, I'm going to talk about our follow-up videos. There's some follow-up videos that are going to be coming after this one. Uh, video number two, we're going to be talking about the pre-fasting protocol. Uh, we don't want to just jump into fasting. You don't want to go from eating uh, ice creams, french fries, pizza, and guzzling beer to the next day saying, that's it, I'm fasting. That's dumb. Uh, not because eating all that stuff is, is quote unquote bad for you, it, but it is. Uh, but because you're going to feel really, really, really bad when you fast. So what we want to do with this pre-fasting protocol that I'm going to go into greater detail in the next video is we want to set ourselves up so that when we do fast, we f we're feeling good while we're fasting. And there are some keys to allowing yourself to go into that fast in the most resourceful way possible and so that you feel good. We want to set you up to win. We don't want you to uh, go into your fast feeling shitty and, uh, and really battling the demons. We want to get you set up, set straight so that you can do it right. So that's going to be the next video, Pre-Fasting Protocol. Video number three, I'm going to actually go over the five-day fasting template. Like I said, we're not actually fasting for five days, not this time around. Like I said, this is to set you up. Uh, but over the course of the, that five days, we're going to be using what I like to describe as nomads, UMADs, and you may have heard of OMADs. OMAD, OMAD is pretty popular. People know what that means. One meal a day, O-M-A-D, that's what it stands for. A lot of people don't know, because uh, I made it up, uh, there are nomads. And nomads mean no meal a day. Right? So you got an OMAD, you got a NOMAD, you got a UMAD, and UMAD is basically multi-day fasting. You know? And so we're going to use a combination of that, OMAD, NOMAD, UMAD, during this five-day fasting uh, template. That's video number three. Uh, video number four, training while fasting. So uh, I got a little bit of a dilemma, but it's, it's actually just a challenge. It's, a, it's an opportunity. And that is, I've decided that I'm going to compete again in Strongman, and I'm starting with the Strength Camp Challenge that's happening in uh, August. So I've got about, I got exactly 10 weeks uh, to prepare for that. Now, those of you who know about the Strength Camp Challenge uh, and know that it's happening, I hope to see you there. I hope to compete against you. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'd love to get my ass kicked by my fans. <laughs> I would love for somebody to come and knock me off. I haven't, I haven't competed in over five years, so this is kind of like a uh, coming out of retirement for me. Uh, but if you don't know about it and you want to get involved, the Strength Camp Challenge, uh, and even train along with me because I'll be recording all my workouts, uh, or just to participate, in, uh, in other words, come in and, and hang out with us, 
enjoy the festivities, all the information you need is down below. So I'll put a link down there for that. I gotta remember a bunch of freaking links. But anyway, you could, you could also Google it too. Shrimp Camp Challenge 2019. And, uh, and so I wanna be training and I've got an elaborate training protocol uh, I want to talk to you about some training principles that you want to follow while you're fasting. Uh, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about what I'm doing, which is a little bit different. And doesn't make me, doesn't mean that I, I'm not trying to set myself apart, but I've been doing the prolonged fasting for, uh, you know, eight, nine months now. And, uh, and so what I'll be doing may be different from what you're doing because I've got different goals and I've already I've already done the prolonged fasting. So, you know, I'll tell you what I suggest you do, and I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing, and you'll also get to watch me as I go about my training because I'll be, you know, as you know, I do the live YouTube lives. So uh there's that. And then video number five, supplements. There are some mandatory supplements, which uh if you watch the the prolonged fasting video, you know about getting your snake juice, getting that, uh, that's, that's what Cole calls it, um, magnesium, potassium, sodium. You want to get that, in your, get that in your water. You want to be drinking that, especially if you're training. Those are, are mandatory. There's some mandatory supplements, but also there are some optional supplements that I'm going to be using uh, this time around. Uh, it's called micro fasting. I'll tell you a little bit about it. You know, I've actually made videos in the past about it. Uh, I've updated some of the micro fasting protocols and supplements and the way I go about it. So I'll be teaching you, teaching you all of that in the, in the supplement section. And, uh, and also by the end of this series, if you hang out up until the end, video number five, and then I'll follow up with a sixth video, I'm going to give you a bonus roadmap. So uh, I know a lot of you guys are watching this. I suggest you take notes, but what I'll do is uh, or what I've already done, but I'll make available to you then, is a template. All this, everything that we're going to talk about, I'm just going to put into a nice like, little report since I already have it. Figure it might help you guys out. So watch until video number five, and I'll make that available to you. And I'll also give you some uh, support on how you can go about true prolonged fasting once you get through this five day fasting challenge, which is really, uh, like I said, it's a bridge to prolong fasting. So I hope that is of interest to you. I hope this video sparks some interest, inspiration, and gets you wanting to prolong fast along with me for five days. And so I'll be back uh, tomorrow with video number two. And also uh, in the next few days, I'll be live streaming my workouts again as I prepare uh, for the Shrimp Camp Challenge and my comeback to strongman competitions. So that's it, y'all. Done.